and tens of thousands of people gathered in the capital of Belarus today in what's believed to be the largest protest in that country's history. The unrest started last week after President Alexander Lukashenko claimed a landslide election victory. His regime is now facing its biggest threat since coming to power nearly three decades ago. And as Redmond Shannon explains, Russia is now offering to help. The biggest rally yet. Tens of thousands of Belarusians dressed in the opposition colors of white and red. From exile in Lithuania, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya put out the call for the event. Opposition supporters say she was the rightful election winner. But they are no longer just protesting last week's result, which they say was rigged by President Alexander Lukashenko, but also the alleged police brutality that followed. New video shows the moment the first of two protesters killed this week fell to the ground in front of riot police. Authorities say he was holding an explosive device. The video is unclear, but it shows the man with blood coming from his chest. His partner insists he was unarmed and was shot. Also on Sunday, Lukashenko addressed a smaller group of his supporters, telling them NATO is ready to invade Belarus, something NATO denies. Lukashenko spoke to Russian President Vladimir Putin Sunday, the Kremlin now offering the Belarusian leader military support if required. I can't wait. I... I check the mail every day, even though it's... Calgary man Rick Gove has been living in the north of the country with his Belarusian girlfriend, but left to renew his visa a few weeks ago. There's one night where I called her and she was crying. She said that there were grenades going off like 400 metres from our house. And it's been really hard. I just wish I could be there. Uh, with her. Anastasia Karatkevich says police have become less aggressive as the week has gone on. With every... Next day, I would say that the fear is going lower and lower. We have it less and less and less each day. We are feeling stronger and more powerful. If nationwide industrial strikes resume Monday, pressure will only increase on Lukashenko. His next move could be critical. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.